welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 2008 and earlier 17-inch MacBook Pro. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro, flip it over, and remove the battery. You can now remove these four Phillips screws which hold the memory cover in place. Then, remove the cover itself. Next, remove each of the memory modules by gently pressing outward on the retaining bar until it pops up, then sliding it out of its slot. Then, remove the two Torx T6 screws next to the memory slots. Finally, turn your MacBook Pro around and remove these three Phillips screws inside the battery bay. Now we can proceed with removing the screws from the outside of the computer. Start with these four Phillips screws on the bottom along the hinge edge. These screws are longer than all the other Phillips screws and help hold things together. On the side with the power adapter, you'll find four more Phillips screws which need to be removed. There are four more on the opposite side as well. Finally, remove the two screws along either side of the hinge. Set your MacBook Pro down on your work surface and open up the screen so it's just past vertical. Starting from the back, gently lift up along the edges, moving around toward the front. If any of the clips stick, you can use your nylon tool to loosen them from the case. Once you've loosened the entire lid, carefully lift up from the front edge. Underneath, you'll see a ribbon cable connecting the keyboard to the logic board. Disconnect the cable from its connector on the board and you can set the lid aside. The hard drive is located in the front left corner. There are probably a couple more pieces of capped on tape holding things in place. Carefully peel the furthest piece back to reveal the hard drive connector. Detach the connector from the logic board, then peel the tape the rest of the way off so we can reuse it again later. Next, carefully peel off any tape or adhesive holding the ribbon cable to the top of the drive. If it's tape, just set the piece aside like the other one. Remove the hard drive retainer bar by loosening these two Torx T6 screws, then lifting the whole unit out, screws and all. By lifting up on the right-hand side of the drive, you should be able to slide it up and out of the bay and detach it from its connector. Now we just need to remove the four Torx T6 mounting pins and you're ready to install the new drive.
You can install either a standard 2.5 inch hard drive or a 2.5 inch solid state drive in the drive bay. For this installation, we're installing a standard hard drive. Hold the new drive face up with the SATA connector facing away from you. On the left side, install the mounting pins that don't have a gasket on them. Then, install the pins with the gaskets on the other side. Attach the SATA connector to the new drive and slide the drive into the bay so that the pins on the left go into the gaskets in the computer. Make sure the drive sits flat, then replace the drive retainer. Reattach the hard drive ribbon cable to the logic board by aligning the connectors and pushing it into place. You can now replace the tape pieces you removed earlier. We can now close up. First, reattach the keyboard cable to its spot on the logic board. Then, set the top cover back into place starting along the front edge. As you work your way along the sides, make sure that the metal tabs that hang down all go inside the case. If they don't, you should be able to gently coax them back into place using your nylon tool. The first set of screws to replace are the two by the hinge. Next, replace the four screws along the edge with the power supply. The next four screws are along the side with the DVI connector. Be careful not to accidentally put the screws in the DVI connector's holes as they will be unable to be removed. Set the MacBook Pro upside down on the table and replace the three screws in the battery bay. Be careful replacing the screw on the right as the lid magnet is nearby and may grab the screw from the end of your screwdriver. Next, replace the four long screws along the bottom hinge edge. You can now replace the two Torx T6 screws near the memory slots. Replace the lower memory module by sliding into its slot at about a 40 degree angle until it's fully seated, then pushing down on the edge until it locks into place. Repeat the process with the top module. Replace the memory cover and secure it with the four Phillips screws. Finally, you can replace the battery. You can now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.